Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. I just want to give a uh, brief update to my uh, newest motherboard here. So I've already talked about all the, uh, the components in another video, so check that one out if you haven't seen it yet. What I want to hit on today is I've added a 20 megahertz processor. Uh, it's partially why I changed my layout. I ended up adding these capacitors to each circuit. Um, which was highly recommended by quite a few people on YouTube. And uh, by adding those, the board will actually run with this uh, faster processor. My other board, it runs the 8 megahertz processor with no issues, but it would not run this processor at all. So I'll just give you a quick demo. As you can see, uh, if you can read that, it says uh, 7020, and then it's uh, HLP-20. Two zeros for 20 megahertz. You can see the crystal here is 40. Now, when I put the writing on the board, I just listed that as crystal V40 because I intended to be able to put whatever crystal in there match the processor. Uh, this crystal here is connected to the 8284 here, and it's the 14.31818. And that is used for the speaker and the system timer. I've already talked about that in another video. Basically, if this is a great example where this is running at 20 megahertz, it does, it, you can use the internal uh, crystal for your speaker, but it'd be very high pitched. So that's why I included this on my board. But anyway, let me give you a quick demo. Make sure we get some good focus here. You saw how quickly that booted up. Uh, that AA, AA is just uh, from the keyboard controller, just initializing it. But I'll just push it. We're just getting scan codes. I'm still, I still haven't gotten in it, changed my uh, keyboard handler yet. But anyway, you can see it hasn't crashed. It's running. It's running just fine. And you see how quickly it booted up. I'll reset it again so we can just watch that. And you can see how quickly that displayed the message to the screen. That was incredibly fast compared to my other boards. The only issue I've had so far is the uh, USB drive uh, because this is running two and a half times faster than the uh, 8 megahertz uh, processor. My timing when I made my interrupt was designed for that slower processor so hopefully with a little tinkering and changing that uh, interrupt code I can get that uh, USB drive to boot DOS. So Anyway thanks for checking out this update.